uh, right now we have here a lady who cried for help she was in a situation that led her to where she is now which is now finding palatable i later lead to assault sexual assault and uh, beating and all that today she's here to ask the world especially nigeria to bring the person the perpetrator to book stay with us as she will be narrating her own side of the story good evening, good evening sir. your name you will try and speak loud okay yes, all right so what brought you to the office of the human rights defenders Yet, uh, I I was married and uh, I was in a draw with my husband. He sent me back to Nigeria that I should come back home while he was in Nigeria. Try and speak louder, please. And I came back to Nigeria. So when I came back to Nigeria, since I came back, I have called several times we talk. I asked him to send me uh, uh, the address because he's from Imo State. We never called. Nothing happened. To date, I'm still waiting for him to to send me the house address. So, in the process, I was stranded in Nigeria. I was homeless until I met uh, Sugar. Do you, do you mean sugar, the one they use in making tea and pop? No, sir. It until has, I met a man they call uh, sugar. Until I met a man they call sugar. His name is Sugar. He has a, he has a hotel. How did you get to know him? I, I, I went to uh, visit my daughter in school. On my way coming, I met him at Kitty. He gave me license and demanded to know where I was staying. I told him I don't have a, a home. I don't want to pass me. I'm just you know, on the street for now. So he drove me to his hotel. He said he can help me. I shouldn't worry. Then he gave me one. When I got there, I saw that girls in the hotel. So they, they, are, they are into prostitution. The remaining girls there that I met. Every day, he compared us to pay him 1500 naira. That is what we, we pay. So there's nothing I can do. There's nobody to talk to, nowhere to go. But the man met you on the way. You were living somewhere. Yes, I my you, house... You were not stranded when he met you. My house expired. My house expired where I paid for. I could not continue. So you, you tell him your story and he he said he want to help you. Yeah, he All of the sudden he took you to his hotel to and well, he now advised you to join the prostitution or what? Yes, that is what I started doing to feed, to take care of myself, to send some money to my daughter. Where is your daughter? She's in school. In Nigeria? Yes, in Nigeria. So I was able to gather some money. So that we able to get apartment where I will put my head first in, with him. Then one day when I told when the money for me to get an apartment was complete, I called him. I said I'm looking for an apartment. He said okay, that uh, before I will go, I will go and bring some girls. I said me I don't know anybody here. He said I should go to uh, travel to my state. I go and bring girls. What will I, will I, what, how, what, what, how will I start? What will I do? You mean you were saving your money with oh, him? Yes. Hold on a minute. You were working in that hotel. Whatever you are doing is none of my problem, but you were working. At the same time, you were saving money with this man, the owner of the hotel that mm -hmm. calls himself Sugar. Yes, sir. And when you now feel that the money is enough for you to stand on your feet, you now request her for your money. Yes, sir. Then instead, she now said you should go and get some guests to start working in that hotel as a prostitute. Yes, sir, for me to replace yourself. For me to go. Ah, at the end of the day, he actually succeeded 
because if I it will throw me out of the hotel. If I didn't go, if I don't mean that trip, either I, he said he said he, he asked me to go or he will not give me the money. So he gave me some money. I traveled. When I got there, I stayed. I did not see anybody. He told me if I don't see some men, if I don't bring guests, I should not come back to to Lagos. I should not go back to that hotel. I tried my best. I tried. I stayed over one month and a month and two weeks. Searching for guests to replace you in that hotel. In, uh, for him to re let me let me go. And now met some guests that said they will come. So I now told him, he said, I will not, I, I must not come back empty handed. So I had some more courage and I came back. With he started maltreating me. You know, he would come to my hotel room. He, the way he would sleep with me, he, he sleep with me six times a day. He will go, he will come. He will go, he will come. He will go, he will come. When it was too much for me, I left. I was sleeping here and there, here and there, going to street to street. Go, if you go to Ikeja, they see, they, they see me there. I don't have anywhere to go. Street to street. Until last uh, uh, February, the guests called me that they are coming to me. The guests you found in your in, in, in for him, uh, yes. They later called you that they are ready to come yeah. to Lagos now. Yes, they are ready to come to Lagos. Okay. And now called him. When I called him. Meanwhile, your money is still with him. Uh, yes. How much is the money? It was two forty. Mm. Two hundred forty thousand. So, when the guests then called him, I called him. I said because I did call him first. I said first, uh, those guests are here. He said uh, that he has closed that very branch that he wanted to put those girls. It's no longer functioning. It's no longer functioning. That I should bring the girls to his other other place if I know the place. I said I don't know that place. Send me the address. He switched off his phone. The, from now to that time. When the guests came, they were on my neck. Me, I don't have anywhere to stay. If you go to Mami Market, you if you if you if you, if you ask, they will see, they will tell you what they what they did to me here, fighting me, you know, and all that. Before they finally left for Benin. Then yesterday, I was going somewhere. I saw him he just passed. No, and I took bike. I followed him. Ah, oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God, I beg now. I don't see house. What of my money? He said I'm a thief. That I stole something from his hotel. I do this, I do that. He just took my phone and started beating me. You see on my body. He beat me and pushed me inside his uh, inside his car and said he would take me to the station that nobody we come and pay me. I said, okay, I followed him. When we got to the station, I came down from the car waiting for him. He just looked at me and he and zoomed off. Did not really take you to the... He dropped in front of station? Yes, sir. Okay. When he dropped me there, I looked up, I looked up. I said, okay, best way not get, we'll go 500. Now I got the 500 because I don't steal a minute. Now the home. That's why I went to the station. I reported the case yesterday. Then when I got to, to there's a lady I used to attend. I slept, I slept in my house. I told that she was one that directed me to this place. This you place. reported to station. What now happened? He dropped in front of station, trying to take to uh, get you arrested. Yes, sir. And he left you there he and drove there. away. He drove away. Then you now enter station by yourself because you're already in front of the station. Yes, what sir. now happened? I made, I laid, uh, I made, I laid a complaint. Exactly what, what he did to me, what happened, is what I told them at the station. They now called him because they said they know the man. They called Without him. you giving them his number, no. they said they know him. Yes, sir. They now called him. They now called him. They called him, they didn't pick. So they asked me to go and come back.
It's even the police you said they, that gave they, they you his number. They, they are the one that gave me his number. Yes. All right. They is that all? Yes, sir. Uh, the allegation is that he he turned you to a human trafficker. You never wish to uh, go and bring anybody. Oh, and um, he, he seized your money. Yes, sir. And he was also raping, forcing you to sleep with yes, you. Yes, sir. He not only me, almost all the guests in that in that they, place. They complain. They complain. That's why they they, they left. All right. So, what do you want us to do for you now? Ah. I want me to help me collect my money from him. I cannot be on the street. But you also said he took your phone yesterday. Has he returned it? No, sir. My phone is with him. Okay. All right. Uh, let me have his number. Let's call him. Okay, I can hopefully keep it. I know his true color must tell him who we are, but I still need to continue. He hasn't picked yet. Are you sure what you are telling Lance is nothing but the truth? Ah, is it true? He beat you. He beat me up. I can see some uh, ah, bruises. People were there yesterday. I have, I have beat here. So, you remove them. He's busy the line. That means he's with his phone. Right now you're already here we will try our best and i've already called the police that you reported the case to to make sure that justice reign what is the name of the hotel even even though he has closed it down sugar sugar lodge okay the name is the sugar lodge yes, sir. where Obunta de Shasha, Bameke Road, or Bameke. The same way he did not pick police call yesterday. Is that what you mean? That he didn't pick it. Were you there when they were calling him? He hasn't picked. I'm going to send him a message to please respond to his call. I'm going to test him about the allegation which he need to respond to. Otherwise, we are going to petition him and get him arrested from a higher authority. Let me. Uh, although this is her own side of the story, the man has not been able to pick her. I will not say he has refused for now. If you know there is need for you to call in, after this I will allow people to call in. I'm still going to refer her back to the police where she formally lay her complaint yesterday. Why well, you can see the pain or what? All right, I uh, just sent him and uh, just sent him a message anyway over the allegation. All right, should we allow you to call in, or we should wait until we hear from Mr. Sugar? 
you want me to open the line then you can say it here Did you show the injury to the police yesterday? Yes. All right. For the fact that I've already called, I know they are going to do justice to it. 